In 1916, with America on the verge of entering the Great War, the nation bands together. Fraternal organizations like the Elks Club are booming, and so is Tacoma. At a time when Tacoma was you know, truly the city of destiny. Literally steps from City Hall, a gleaming Grand Elks Lodge opens for the first time. Flanked by the Spanish steps, inspired by the original in Rome, a symbol of Tacoma's growing prosperity. My uncle was quite active in the Elks during this period. Um, I remember coming here. There was a swimming pool here and a, and, a, and a gymnasium. The Tacoma Elks Club would grow to 15,000 members, the largest in the entire nation. In the 50s, the club outgrew the lodge and the Elks moved out. Over the decades, the building became a site for weddings, special events, and concerts. But by the 1980s, the building and much of the neighborhood was a bit of a mess, abandoned, neglected, vandalized. Vagrants uh, in the building, uh, wreaking havoc inside, taking everything of value inside, ripping out the inside. By 2001, Bill Barsma was the mayor of Tacoma and fought hard to keep the building from being demolished. He saw a faded gem here. 1939. And then he met Brian McMenamin, who shared that vision. We honor the history. And spent $30 million to polish up this dusty jewel. It's been 16 years of dreaming, planning, replanning, replanning, starting, stopping, but now we're here. And here she is again, grand, gleaming, the McMenamin's Elks Temple. Inside, 43 hotel rooms, restaurants, nightclubs, once again, the crown jewel of the neighborhood. So we actually found a couple of the artists that did the original graffiti and brought them back in to, to uh, you know, put some new stuff up. And it was, it's fabulous. I have a room named after me, which is... Yes, you I'm do. Very, yes, very, you do. I very stay honored. right next to it. Very honored. Very much surprised. And